This is a docking implement for docking horses tails as used possibly before the Second World War and possibly immediately after. This actually came in different sizes depending on whether it was a small pony or a large horse. Uh, and that really is a little bit barbaric bit of equipment. The horse's tail went in the side obviously and then it was sliced off and uh, hopefully you kept it shut to stop it stop it bleeding. Was that painful for the horse? It was painful for the horse and I'm not honestly sure what anaesthetic they would have used in those particular days. Why did they do it? Uh, I think it was a fashion at the time. The only, the, the only interesting little bit of information I've got about using this is that my father always related the story that when gypsies docked horses' tails, they never did it unless they could find a puffball in the field, a fungal puffball in the field. Mm -hmm. And they attached, always attached the fun this puffball to the stump of the tail, and the stump of the tail never got infected and never went wrong. And if you think about penicillin, yeah, penicillin is based on a fungus. Yeah. 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 It's a pretty drastic piece of equipment. It's a pretty drastic piece of equipment and I think it's barbaric. But yeah. I mean, it, late, later on they used to put the rubber rings around uh, yes. the calves' tails and things, didn't they? That's right, they did. They they did. Horses, they? horses it, I think it was just a fad, and it went out of fashion. Uh, we are much more welfare conscious now than we ever were. Were they ever used on, on sheep then? Because sheep are. Not, I don't think they use these on sheep. We use different irons on sheep. Right, but a smaller version? Uh, usually, the ones I saw used were usually just a hot iron. Right. Uh, just a, a, an iron put in the put in the fire, got red hot and pushed through the, uh, the uh, lamb's tail. Mm.